So custom rigs have the advantage of you upgrading whatever you want. And in this X99 build, we're gonna show you how to actually build something at a lower cost and then go all the way up. So this is the Pantex P400S uh, case. This is a silent case. And what I like about this, is it gives you a lot of options. You've got built-in lighting into the case, two USB ports on the top, and also uh, just uh, enough space to put in all the different aspects uh, of components that you want to. So we went with the MSI X99A Gaming Pro um, motherboard. Now this retails from roughly around three something. This is an RGB board, but also what I like with this is that it also supports uh, M.2 on the board itself, uh, which is nice. And you have, of course, enough PCI slots for two graphics cards, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM on this, and it takes an X99 chip. Also has an onboard power and reset. Now in terms of ports, you've got a full array of USB ports, uh, 3.0, 2.0, USB Type-C ports, and of course some audio uh, components there. Now our graphics card here is an Asus um, GTX 1070 and we went with the Geel Evo X uh, DDR4 memory which of course has lighting effects and that can be controlled with the motherboard itself so that's also pretty cool. Uh, total memory size 16 gigabytes again it's upgradable with the board we have. Our power supply is an 850B2 from EVGA uh, that should give us enough power for what we want to run with this and also give us room to upgrade and we went with the uh, Corsair H100i V2 cooling. So in terms of the parts you see here the idea is that we can upgrade this and maximize. Now our processor is the 6800K which is the lowest ranked uh, X99 chipset which allows us to upgrade high to something with more performance down the line. So with the build here, like I said, be running um, you know 16 gigs of RAM. As you can see, the MSI uh, carbon uh, board, of course, has lighting effects, and it shows as it complements with, of course, our RAM on the board. It board uh the only thing of course that uh, doesn't light up is the graphics card but that's pretty much what this build is about again the graphics card is something that could give us some solid performance uh but of course is not too expensive uh so the idea here is that everything here is upgradable so you can get a max build with this and especially with an x99 board you're guaranteed some longevity um altogether so let's take a look at some gaming on this now uh the first game we're running here is doom and just to show you the settings uh screen resolution is 3440 by 1440 vulcans on everything's on ultra on this and we are locked at roughly 50 frames per second so i'm gonna go ahead and just jump into some gameplay you guys can check that out um you know everything ran really smooth and fresh for some reason i don't know why i didn't go oh, higher than 50 i'm not sure why but uh it was really steady 50 uh frames per second all the way through no slowdowns no hiccups uh doing gameplay um, and it handled that very well. Now the next game here, which I can add of course, is Battlefield 1. Resolution is still the same, 3440 by 1400. And everything is set on Ultra. So we get back into gameplay here. We're doing actually between uh, roughly 60 to 70 frames per second. And you see how smooth it is and also the detail that you're getting within uh, gameplay uh, on Battlefield 1 on this rig. Uh, this is something that can be scaled up. So imagine if you wanted to, of course, do higher frame rates, you know, play in 4K. Um, the things you can do in terms of this build, in terms of uh, either uh, upgrading things on the build, like the graphics card or even adding more RAM, or even switching to an optical processor with the X99 line like the 5960X uh, that will give you just more performance. But as it stands, this build is really solid um, all the way through and gives you some really good performance in terms of gameplay, in terms of gameplay, um, graphical fidelity and also functionality altogether. So there's a lot that this rig or this build actually offers and the idea again is for you guys to see something that can start you off not too expensive to a max build. Now some of the desktop components that this motherboard also provides I just want to show is some simple overclocking uh, for, for gaming so you do have that. There's also a gaming mode which you can set. There's a VR mode. These are easy simple ways to basically go ahead and achieve maximum performance from the processor and from the totality of your build. You also have um, LED functionalities where you can change and set up all those LED lights you saw um, within the casing to give you, uh, you know, different lighting schemes, whether it's breathing and all that fun stuff so you can enjoy your build. 
Overall, there's a lot to say about this build in terms of what it can achieve um, um, down the line. The idea of building a gaming PC is something that a lot of people know that you can always upgrade and add more things to it. And this build, being a low-end X99 build, showcases how far you can go. There's still a couple of chipsets you can um, uh, add add to this build. Uh, you can also expand the memory up to 64 gigabytes uh, bytes of uh, DDR4 RAM. You can also add another uh, PCIe um, SSD if you want to. You can also go ahead and upgrade uh, the graphics card to a 1080 or even a 1080 Ti or Titan X. So there's, there's room for growth and that's the idea of this build. This is just to show you what you can do starting off uh, at a cost-effective Solid X99 build and move all the way up. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you're looking to pick up this build or build parts of this build, use our links down below. We have a PC part picker so you guys can customize what you want. And this is Thunder E saying thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Channel, hit the notification icon and always enjoy your entertainment.